serve personnel. How to select whom to lunch with. And the challenges with with a show like this are, are much, you know, it's not as emotionally kind of draining as a show like Equus is. Um, I certainly don't think I could have signed up for the length of run that I'm doing with this with a show like Equus. I think I would have gone mad. Um, the challenges with this have been, you know, I suppose the ones you think of first and foremost when you think of a musical, which is the singing and the dancing. Aren't you proud to be in that fraternity? So for me, one of the interesting things about this musical was a chance to play this part, because there's no reason that he shouldn't be 21 at all. You know, in fact, I think that it makes him slightly more sympathetic for someone whose behaviour is so manipulative and so kind of underhand a lot of the time. You forgive a lot more. were both huge musical fans. I grew up listening to lots and lots of musicals in the car. Um, but this wasn't one of them, for whatever reason. I don't know why. Guys and Dolls was. Guys and Dolls was something we listened to a huge amount. Um, but, yeah, for, for whatever reason, um, this wasn't one of them. These are dark times, there is no denying. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it gave me everything. It's given me... Uh, there's no way I would be doing How to Succeed on Broadway if it wasn't for Harry Potter. There's no way I'd have done Equus. There's no way I'd have done Woman in Black. Like, you know, all the opportunities that it's opened for me are, are you know, are, are something that would not have happened had it not been for Harry Potter. Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. Um, but by the same token, it, it's, it's something that, you know, had to end. You know, there's only seven books, and we've done eight films uh, by the time the last one comes out. So it was either a case of finishing it when the time was right, which we have, or getting somebody else to continue writing Harry Potter scripts, even though there were no more books, up until the age of, you know, when I was 40, and the film's gradually becoming worse and worse and worse. So those were the options, <laughs> and we picked the right one. But you can't fight this war on your own, Mr. Porter. 